Hello and welcome back to Hunter's Info. In this video, I will be showcasing all cool AI features that can be found on Samsung Galaxy Tab S11. Let's begin! So, I don't really want to get into every single AI feature because then this video would quite literally take forever, especially since I don't want to like talk about it, I also want to show how this feels. And of course, I'm not going to like count in things like, oh, did you know you can install ChatGPT here? Because that's kind of stupid, let's be honest. And I want only to include things that can be found in the settings themselves or generally speaking on your device uh, just globally. And note that on like most of these things will require you to use your Samsung account. So let's go into Galaxy AI. And here you have a list. Technically, you can just see everything here and you could just, you know, say, okay, I'm done now. You can just, like literally click off the video. But once again, I want to go into uh, more information about this because I think it will give us many, many more things. So what can we start? Well, let's start with the thing that actually is very cool about this device and it's the pen itself. Whenever we try using the pen, we see a little icon here. Whenever we click it, we should see this fancy animation that we can, for example, draw a star and we can unleash the artist inside us. We can transform simple sketches into awesome art. We can create images from text descriptions and turn photos into cartoons, paintings and more. So basically all that fancy, fancy magic stuff. Let's click the arrow. And for example, let's go into drawing assist. Of course, we have to agree to Galaxy AI whenever we are going to use it for the first time. Once again, this is your last chance for actually seeing every single AI function that's displayed on this device. And I will hit continue. So we can now unleash the artist inside us. And let's go into OK. And we can get creative. So for example, we can choose how our AI will, uh, will choose things personally. I think that 3D cartoon looks garbage, so I'm going to choose with illustration and I'm going to... Hmm, let's add a little demon, so... Oh, can... Oh no, I can't draw! Oh, that's pretty funny, why can't I draw? That's pretty interesting, because I didn't enable this. So now we can draw. I'm going to draw something very simple, like this little... We even hear a little things here. So I will draw a little uh, demon. So let's have it. Oh, I am such a beautiful artist. Do you like my demon? I hope you like it. <laughs> of course, I don't want to waste too much time on this, but now basically you can hit generate. And I have illustration set up. So now basically uh, the AI will be fed our uh, thing and we can see... Okay, actually that really resembles what I drew. Wow, that's, that's, that's almost surprising. So for example, you can now uh, go into pop art with this. So let's go and generate something from the pop art. Or actually I think the old painting will look uh, even cooler. So let's wait for a moment. I like how this almost looks like a cat. <laughs> like, <laughs> and I have no idea what it is, little artifact is here. But as you can see, you can just play around with this feature. It's pretty cool. But once again, I didn't want to waste too much time on this. So let's go back. And we can actually help ourselves with something much more practical. For example, the transcript process. We can hand enter our voice recorder here. So as you can see, we have a nice uh, view on what's new in the voice recorder. So you can turn speech into text, we can summarize recordings, which is pretty cool. And we can translate and compare it. So let's start. Let's give uh, the microphone um, things and we can go and start recording. So now I'm going to talk about something very important, very fun and very 
very specific, like so specific. It's, it's the secret of the universe. Seriously, if you're going to keep listening, I will tell you the secrets of the universe. And I hope that the AI summary will give me the information. I know you're going to use AI summary against me. I just know. I hope you really like my acting skills. But let's hit save and now we can click the recording and you can just hit that transcribe button. So as we can see we are Oh yeah, we have to un we have to download English United Kingdom language pack. Oh, did it detect my accent? Did it thought I was British? Because technically we could have been downloading the United States English. That's pretty funny. Anyway, we can now transcribe it into English. It will analyze our recording. And after a quick moment, we should see a nice little text on our uh, on our side. It's actually pretty funny. Oh, finally. So now we have chronics. I'm now going to talk about something very important, very fun and very, very specific. Like so specific, the secret to your new universe. You've heard, that, you've heard it already. And now I believe if we click this icon here, we can go into summarize. So let's go OK. And we have a nice summary of our uh, of our recording. Now, how can you use this? Well, personally, I would use it so I can record my lessons in the school. I can have the all like I can have the specific uh, or like the lectures on, on on the college. And then you have and the ability to transcribe it, and then you can perform a summary, which. Yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. It's pretty practical as well. But of course, that is not all. I, I, I have no idea why this video is already seven minutes long. As you can see, there's a plenty of different things. But for example, we can uh, cut something off from our photos. Like if I'm going to... Okay, I will just pause the recording. So now I have made a nice uh, image. I play a photo, I click the A button, here is what I can see, and here are all the things that you can do with photos. So for example, we can draw something around this logo right here, and we can simply hit the erase button, and after a moment, it's gone. We can hit the generate, and we should see a new version of that image without the logo on our, uh, on our side, and as you can see, the logo is gone. We can now save copy and also uh, it's pretty nice that when you save an image edited with AI, a watermark and contact screenshots are added to the image uh, and it will basically show that this is indeed an or, uh, AI generated content. I have like, I really love this feature. I think it's a must have nowadays. So this is the original photo. This is the newly generated one with the watermark being very small and in the left bottom corner. Of course, you can do so much more. For example, you can go back to the AI button. We can like change its rotation, and I believe this should also generate outsides. We can try that out. We can also, for example, move it. So let's move it, for example, here, and let's make it big. So we have this big logo nowadays. And I think I'm going to leave the rotation as well. So now we can hit the generate once again. So let's see what will happen. I'm guessing that now this will take longer. So I'm also going to pause the video. Okay, it took a few seconds. This is the original. This is the one we made before. And this is the one we made right now. As you can see, the ability to change stuff and move it around is pretty limited, but it did add up and uh, details pretty well. I'm going to put it even further, so I'm going to quickly uh, like rotate it really, really hard. So let's rotate it like 40. Oh, we can only have it rotating at this angle. That's pretty sad. Mm. Okay, I have an idea. Okay, so I've made this new photo with a logo being cut off, a pen being cut off, and even a hair inside, which looks pretty fun. I think we can try to change it, so we can go into AI, we can rotate it like this, so now the AI has to make a new pen and made up the logo, I'm really interested in what what it's going to about change, we can also for example pick this up, 
and let's say I want to move it so I want to move it uh, let's say in the shadow I'm going to wonder if maybe this will be put in the shadow now and that's all let's hit generate and let's wait and see what will happen and unfortunately I'm kind of disappointed you can see this little artifact here if we show original we can have side by side comparison but I think the side by side comparison is better if I will just save the copy and now here is the original image with the shadow here the part from the pen here the, the Samsung pen here and the logo so actually I'm really surprised that the AI managed to capture logo pretty well like this looks almost legit if only it uh, was able to move the pen end from the shadow from the light to the shadow but it just removed it completely leaving a little spot behind and also it completely I guess it kind of didn't know what to do with the pen so it got rid of it completely and it's a way of doing that sure but as you can see even with really basic ability to like uh, mark things away and click the erase button I can do really big stuff so I do think that the AI itself is pretty advanced and you can surely have fun with it can do something more sure as I said before once again I can go and show you the whole the list of different AI applications if you own the Galaxy Tab or if you don't know if you want to buy it and you really like AI features you can always see it here like for example I don't know you can go into Samsung different application and you can have an AI summary of the, uh, the site that they're on that's pretty cool you basically have the auto format option for notes with the inclusion of ability to draw and like drawing assist and all of that we have the audio eraser which is really like an epic game changer we have photo ambient wallpaper we have now believe okay these two are actually kind of meh but yeah the features are a lot and i think these uh, three are probably my most favorites and yeah that's all for this video if you found it useful make sure to give a like and subscribe and as always thanks for watching see you next time Thank you.